Our devotion this week is called Bugs. You might remember the story of Moses and how he was such a great helper of God's. But did you know how many bugs were great helpers of God's as well? Listen up to the story called Bugs. In a palace in the desert lived a king who had a pet, the strangest creeping creature that you have ever met. His pet was not a dog or cat or all those common things. He was a shiny beetle bug with horns and whirring wings. King Pharaoh called him Scarab and wore him in his hair. He fed him from the table, gave people quite a scare. He'd smile like he was being nice and say, here, have some cream. But when they poured the pitcher, Scarab Pug would make them scream. The little beetle liked these games till he hid in the honey. When his wings got stuck together, then he knew it wasn't funny. One day, a man named Moses came to the king to say that God had said to free his slaves and Pharaoh must obey. Old Pharaoh was too busy to listen to that plea, so God caused stuff to happen to make his hard eyes see. First, frogs came hopping from the Nile, whose water turned blood red. They croaked on every windowsill and hopped on Pharaoh's bed. They fell into the bread dough and scared the royal bakers. They looked like floods of moving eyes that filled all Egypt's acres. Around the royal palace swarmed clouds of gnats like rain. They flew in Pharaoh's ears and face. They really were a pain. The horses didn't like them. They swished their tails for hours, but the gnats just kept on coming, raining down like summer showers. One day outside the window, Pharaoh heard a buzzing sound. Then clouds of hairy red-eyed flies filled all the sky and ground. Brave Moses tried to warn the king those ugly bugs were coming. But the king called in his drummers to drown out all that humming. Those flies, they landed everywhere. They sat upon the food. Then Pharaoh yelled and told the crowd, I'm in an awful mood. The flies were in the soup bowls. The flies were on their hats. They buzzed around and filled the air. They even scared the cats. But every time that Moses came again to warn the king, Pharaoh laughed or looked away. He wouldn't do a thing. Then he heard a splat, plop, swoosh outside the window pane, and a gang of big green locusts came down like falling rain. Oh my, those bugs were hungry. They chewed up every tree, cause Pharaoh didn't lift a hand to set God's people free. The streets were very slippery with gobs of bright green goo. So the shoemaker invented a locust squashing shoe. When Pharaoh went out riding in his carriage with gold lace, he kept the curtains closed so tight the bugs weren't in his face. Those locusts would have flown away in just about a second if Pharaoh had just heard God's word and with it he had reckoned. What could a man like Moses do to get a king to see that if he didn't hear God's voice, the worst was yet to be? Moses kept on knocking back to Pharaoh's house he'd go, but every time he warned him, that stubborn king said, No! Hail, darkness, and a plague would come on Egypt's land, and all because the king would not allow what God had planned. Back and forth, poor Moses came with messages so clear the king would need to change his mind or give up all that's dear. But bit by bug, God's word got through. King Pharaoh's heart of stone. He set God's people free at once with orders from his throne. Creepy crawly bugs and frogs had helped a king to hear. The words that Moses brought from God had made the whole thing clear. 
hope you enjoyed our devotion bugs today to learn more about Moses and the whole story of him and Pharaoh and all the plagues that God sent. Go to Exodus in your Bible and you'll find it there. Have a blessed day.